Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Good. I also want to say hello and good morning to everybody joining us on Facebook and YouTube. Can you all turn around and wave at the camera back there? Welcome. Well, I'm Joya. I'm the Director of Education and Community Engagement here at the Center. And today we're here for Peanut Butter and Jam, which is sponsored by Fagray Drinker. Now, today is a special day. It's the first day of spring. Isn't that great? Yeah, it means the flowers are going to come and, and we're going to have warm weather. But what was Wednesday? Wednesday was a special day, too. Can anybody yell that out? You're right. We got a smart group here today. It was St. Patrick's Day, and we love Celtic music. So we're continuing the St. Patrick's Day celebration all week long, and we have a very special group today for you. Catherine Nagy and friends, are you ready for some really fun music? Yeah? Well, you are welcome to get up in front of your seats and move around. We do ask that for social distancing, you don't sit on the aisles. You stay in the seats that have the little ribbons on them, okay? But you are welcome to stand up in front of your seats and move around. We do ask that you keep your masks on, though. All righty. Well, sit back and enjoy Catherine Nagy and friends. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Julia, for that lovely um, introduction. My name is Catherine, and I have brought a really fun group of musicians with me here today. And we're going to be playing Irish music because, um, as Julia said, we just celebrated St. Patrick's Day, and I grew up in Ireland. So this music is so special to me. Uh, and I am a songwriter, and I write Irish music, and I love to sing Irish music. Um, so I wanted to say hello to everyone that's streaming in from online as well. Uh, we're so excited to have you. We're going to have you dancing. We're going to have you clapping. We hope you're doing it all at home as well. Uh, and I cannot think of a better way to kick off uh, this show than to invite my friend Dimitri over there to pull out his bagpipes and give us a little tune on the bagpipes. You're going to watch him droning it up, and then he's going to take it away. Those bagpipes always remind me of the movie um, with Merida in it, the Disney princess. Has anyone ever seen that movie? Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. That's what the bagpipes remind me of. Well, this next song um, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing a song, and then I'm going to want you to all start singing with me. Um, so start warming up and start getting ready, because we're going to be singing in a little bit. But this song is a song that I wrote about my children. I have three children. And I'm not sure how all you children are at bedtime, but my children like to stay up later than their bedtime all the time. And they're always asking me if they can stay up one more minute. Mommy, will you lay with me one more minute? And so this song is called Lay With Me. It's the end of the day, my sweet Time to wrap up your play to sleep I'll be up in a minute to tuck you in I watch as you walk down the hall When did you grow so tall? I remember the days I would carry you when you were small
as you ponder the day Sharing stories and silly games Then I kiss you cause it's getting late And we start to pray are dirty, the laundry's a zoo, but all that I want to do is lay here with you. There's nothing more important than you. You ready to shake it? fantastic. I didn't realize I was going to have shakers in the audience. We are going to have a lot of time, um, chances for you to shake, because I can't always shake. I'll be playing the guitar sometimes. Um, but this next song that I'm going to sing is a song that I'm going to need some help with. You guys ready to sing? Yeah. yeah, you warmed up? Do we need to do a little practice? We'll warm up a little bit? Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you a little part of this song. This is a song um, called Molly Malone. It's about an Irish girl um, named Molly. And she is back in the olden days and she used to walk around Dublin city and Dublin is the capital of Ireland. And she used to sell fish in her wagon. This is back in the olden days. And so in an open market, if you think of a farmer's market, if you've been to a farmer's market before, you can buy your bread and you can buy your fruit and all your vegetables. Well, Molly used to sell the fish. And she would walk through Dublin with her big wagon, and her mom and dad did it too. That was their home business. And she would sing this little song as she walked around and sang. And this is what I would like you to sing with me um, when it comes up in the song, and we'll practice it right now. All right, let me think. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Can you try that with me? We're going to do it a few times. So when it comes up in the song, I need to hear your voices. Here we go. Alive, alive, oh ho, alive, alive, oh ho, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. I can't hear you very well. I'm going to need to hear you a little bit louder before I start the song. One more time. Alive, alive, oh ho, alive, alive, oh ho, crying cockles. much better. All right, so here's a little story about Molly. In Dublin's fair city where the girls are so pretty, I first laid me eyes on sweet Molly Malone as she wheeled her wheelbarrows through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, ho, alive, alive, oh, ho, crying cockles Fishmonger, and sure it was no wonder, for so were her mother and father before, and they wheeled their wheelbarrow through streets. 
streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, here we go. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, She died of a fever, and no one could save her. And that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. But her ghost wheels the wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, alive. some shakers, I've got some singers. I am so excited for the rest of my songs because you all are going to sound fabulous. I'm going to take a quick minute to introduce um, these fantastic musicians that are up here with me. Um, I definitely couldn't be singing these songs without them. Over here on the far right, this is Mr. Dimitri Alano. Um, he'll be playing the t Irish tin whistle. He'll be playing the Irish flute a little bit later, and you heard him on the bagpipes as well. Um, and Dimitri is also the, the director of our Irish Arts Academy here in town, um, which is everything about Irish music. So, Dimitri. <laughs> Behind me, um, I have Mr. Tim Wright. Uh, Mr. Tim Wright is a member of the um, band Indi um, the, the Wright Brothers, which is very well known here. Um, and he is going to be joining us on the pedal steel back here, and he's also going to be picking a banjo, um, which is off, often used in Irish music. So thank you, Tim. And then over here, this lovely Colleen, Colleen is the word for an Irish girl, um, on her fiddle, as we like to say. Um, this is Jane Rupert. Jane is a classically trained violinist who likes to get that fiddle out when I start playing Irish music as well. It's such a treat to have her up here with me. Welcome, Jane. And then last but certainly not least is um, Mr. Austin Johnson here on my right. Uh, he'll be picking that guitar um, for the rest of the morning. He'll be singing with me as well. He'll be stomping. If you, see, if you hear something that sounds like a stomp out there, that's this cool machine that Austin will be stomping on. Um, he is a collaborator of mine for songwriting and he produces um, almost all of my recorded music. So if you go out and hear my recordings, um, that'll be the magic of Austin Johnson as a producer. So thank you, Austin. Okay, now that I've introduced them, let's see what they can do. I'm gonna let them take a song here. Um, this is a song called The Irish Washerwoman. It is very close to my heart because as a mom of three, there is a lot of laundry that goes in my house. And these women used to wash all this laundry by hand. And this is the song that came up out of that. Um, and it just makes me very grateful for my washing machines. Give him a little clap. You ready?
Is that fun? Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. I love dancing, I love clapping. That's what's fun about Irish music. Um, this next song that I'm gonna sing, this is a song um, that was actually inspired by a beautiful bird that lives off the northern coast of Ireland. And I actually brought some with me. They're not real. But they're very cute. Um, does anyone know what type of bird this is? Yes? Did, did I hear a penguin? A puffin, that's right. They look an awful lot like a penguin. Um, they're a mix of a toucan and a penguin, and they're called a puffin. And um, they prance around like um, little queens. And so this song um, that I wrote is inspired by these beautiful birds. Um, and I was also thinking about pirates when I wrote this song. Um, and so you'll hear in this some sounds that sounds like puffin. That's going to be coming from Jane's um, violin over there. And you'll also hear some sounds that sound like a pirate ship. And what I would like you all to do is maybe pick a puffin or pick a pirate, or you can be both, and kind of imagine yourself prancing around like a little puffin when they're dancing on the violin over there. Or you can maybe be a sailor or a pirate and be looking for land if you're out in your big boat. And this is one of those songs where you can just do whatever you want and just enjoy it. And it's called Play All Day. Pirate. That's the puffin. Light upon me toes, wind in me nose. Where am I off to? Nobody knows. Fly away, play all day. Love to fly. Won't you look at me? I love to be seen. Fly away, play all day. Love to fly away, play all day. Look at all the birdies. Travel to and fro, never growing old. I wonder where we'll the loveliest group of pirates and puffins I have ever seen. Thank you. That was wonderful. Um, this next song that um, we're going to play is actually a song where you can get up and dance as well. Um, it's a song um, about a man named Jimmy. He's an Irishman, and he sees a lovely lady, and he wants to dance with her. And it's called Jimmy's Dance, and I hope you enjoy it. Walking on a winter's night To move around cause it was cold outside I bumped into the lady on me right Got she was a very lovely sight I asked if I could buy her a little drink And if she'd like to dance around with me She smiled and gave a lovely little wink I thanked the Lord and started to sing I will go wherever you will go You're the keeper of me heart We 
as she moved along. I held her close, embraced her to the song. She smelled of roses with, with something sweet. Made me feel so light upon my feet. But she started dancing with another guy. I stayed close and tried to catch her eye. The other man was making moves for me. She looked and saw I started to sing. I will go wherever you will go. You're the keeper of me heart. So now you know. Won't you stay here with me? Come be my wife. God will have a very happy, happy life. She laughed. Said I was a silly lad to move along, no interest did she have. She turned away to take another sip, left me there feeling all alone. So move us now, I'll find another log. We'll have a drink of Ireland's favorite jug. She's around here, this I surely know, and we'll dance very, very close. Thank you. That was wonderful, Jane, on the violin over there. Um, next, we're going to sing another dance tune. And this was actually a song that was composed by Dimitri over here. Um, and it's called Trisha's Jig. And um, I'm just going to move away and let the band do what they do best. Feel free to jig. I will be. You all look wonderful out there. I love some of the Irish outfits I'm seeing out there. This row back here is looking particularly green. Can you stand up and show us all your outfits? Those are some, um, those are some Irish jerseys, rugby jer jerseys, right? I like those. Are they from Ireland?
You, you used to live in, you live there or you used to live there? Ah, wonderful, I could tell that was some authentic Irish gear back there. <laughs> well, I grew up in Kinsale. Um, my my um, mother is from Galway, her side of the family, and my father's side of the family is from Dublin. And so um, I grew up in Kinsale. I lived there until I was seven years old, and then I moved over here and with my family to America. But all of my relatives, uh, my grandparents, everyone um, was, was stayed over there. So each summer I used to go back to Ireland, and I used to hang out with my cousins and eat all the wonderful Irish chocolate and listen to all this wonderful Irish music. So um, Ireland is very, very dear and close to my heart. Um, I wanted to also share that um, we, as a band, um, play around town a lot, um, and we will be starting to play a lot more here in um, this upcoming year. Um, so you can follow me on my Facebook page, um, Catherine Nagy Music. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, cat, under Catherine Nagy Music as well, uh, and I have a website. And so all of those places I post uh, where we play, and um, we'd love to come see you. We do, um, we love singing for children's shows like we're doing today. We also sing um, adult shows in the evening um, as well, so would love uh, to see some of you all for that as well. Um, and let me see, I think you guys look like you're ready to sing again. Is that true? You've danced a lot. I feel like we need to get some singing and some clapping. This next song uh, is called The Wild Rover. And if you have been to Ireland or if you've been to an Irish restaurant of any sort, uh, this is a song you will often hear there. And it has a fun clapping part in it. And I'm gonna grab my guitar and then Dimitri is gonna um, help me teach you the clapping part. And we'll do it a few times uh, so that once we start the song, you'll be able to do it. Dimitri, you got your clapping hands already? I've got them ready to go. So give me the number again. You told me there was a number. It's a four claps, and then two claps, and then one clap. Okay, that helps. The four, the two, and the one. So I'm going to sing through the chorus here, um, and we'll practice it a few times. There we go. Okay. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more will I play the wild rover. No, never, no more. Oh my gosh, you guys are pros. Have you heard this before? Yeah? You did really remarkably well. Okay, we're going to try it another time for those that are still learning. Okay. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more will I play the wild rover. No, never, no more. Dimitri, you're a great teacher. They're amazing. Oh, my gosh. I mess that up all the time, and you guys just got it. You all got it. Okay. You ready? Yeah? Okay. I've been a wild rover for many a year. Taught me money on chocolate and cheer And now I'm returning with gold and great store And I never will play the Wild Rover no more And it's no, nay, never to an old house I used to frequent and I asked the landlady me money was spent I asked her for credit she answered me nay saying customs like yours I can have any day and it's no Ten sovereigns bright And the landlady's eyes open 
opened up with delight She said, I've got gummies and sweets of the best And the words that I told you were only in jest And it's no nay, never No nay, never, no more Will I play the wild rover No, never, no more I'll go home to my parents Confess what I've done And I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son And when they have kissed me as oft times before I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no We're going to let um, Austin and Dimitri do a little fun song for us. beautiful Irish flute that you're um, listening to over there. Lovely boys. And you also got to hear some banjo on there. Yeah. Yeah. Tim started picking some banjo back there, too. It was just cool. Tim, um, will you show us your instruments? Because we can't... Will you stand up really quickly and show those kiddos that banjo and what you can do with it really quickly?
anyone that knows his way around a banjo, it's that gentleman back there. Um, well, I'm going to sing uh, another one of the songs I wrote. Um, all of my recordings are out on Spotify and Apple Tunes and anywhere where you can stream music. Um, and you can also buy my CDs from my website or just contact me. Um, I'd be happy to hand deliver you one or stick one in the mail. Uh, just let me know. But this next song is uh, called Gypsy Lady. And um, it is a song that when I was starting to write music and really trying to figure out um, what I wanted to write about and who I was, this is kind of what came out. I... As I mentioned, I grew up in Ireland, moved to America, uh, moved to Puerto Rico in between there, and then came back to America. So I've moved around a lot um, and had a lot of different musical influences, and uh, that's why I feel like I'm a gypsy sometimes. Gypsy lady. Gypsy lady who dresses up in lace. My mind tends to wander and it takes me place to place. I'm always dreaming elsewhere and singing o'er the place. I am a gypsy lady who dresses up in lace. of us are going to be playing at the zoo next week. Um, we'll be doing similar music, some Irish music, and we'll be doing some other um, songs as well. Um, and we'll be playing on Thursday the 25th at lunchtime. So if anyone wants to come join us and visit us again, we would love to see you. Um, and I was going to see if I could ask all of you to play the Irish washerwoman one more time. Because I, I just think that you guys could do it a little faster than you did it the first time. It seemed like it was going a little slow. And when I like listening to the Irish washerwoman, I want it to go a little faster. So I was wondering if maybe you could let us all dance again and see if we could um, 
make it go a little faster. Are you guys up for the challenge? Should we see if they can do it? Yeah, I think so too. I've heard them do it before and I would like to hear it again. Um, and so I would love to see you all dancing. Um, I do have a question for you all out there. Did anyone find a leprechaun? Did anyone see the leprechaun? You, you did? At your school? And did, did the leprechaun, did you find the pot of gold? Because I've been looking for that pot of gold for years and I still haven't found it. You, you found some chocolate? That's gold. That's golden. You made a leprechaun at school? I love that. My daughter and I were looking for the, we were looking for a rainbow and we couldn't find one because she was hoping that the pot of gold would be underneath the rainbow. Someone had a leprechaun rainbow? That's wonderful. Um, we never found the leprechaun in our house, um, so I'm hoping maybe next St. Patrick's Day we might. Or if we go to Ireland, maybe we will as well. There's also fairies that fly around on St. Patrick's Day. Um, when I've been to Ireland before, I've seen some of the fairy gardens there. I've taken my children to them, and we've seen the homes where the fairies live and their little villages, and um, that's always so magical to see those. So I would like all of you now, this is gonna be our last song today, um, so I would like you all to pull out your shakers and pull out your clappers and do your singing or do your dancing. Get all of that um, fun Irish energy out and I will be doing it with you as well. And let's see how fast this talented band can play the Irish washerwoman. here. Let's give them all a round of applause. They are fantastic. We've got Mr. Dimitri Alano, Austin Johnson, Tim Wright, and Jane Rupert. And I'm Catherine Nagy. And thank you so much to the Tarkington Theater for having us here today, Peanut Butter and Jam. Thank you to all the sound engineers um, and video that is making the live stream work. Thank you to all that tuned in from home. Um, I wish we could have had you here with us in person, but I'm so glad uh, that you were able to join as well. And thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. What a fun Celtic Irish celebration. I want to invite you all back here in April. We have Bongo Boy doing rhythm, uh, Rainforest Rhythm Jam. You'll all have your own percussion instruments that they'll bring, and we will have a lot of fun with that one. That'll be in the studio theater. And then our last one for this season, Peanut Butter and Jam, is Martini's Boogie 3. We had them a few years ago, and they had the place jamming. That will be like 50s rock and roll, a little Jerry Lee Lewis, that kind of music, but it's all for kids. And then lastly, I want to mention, we have another one of our child and adult music classes. Those currently are being done through Zoom, and they are on Thursday mornings, and that'll start, our next one will start up in mid-April. I want to give another thank you to Frey Gray and Drinker, who's been our peanut butter and jam sponsor all season. And one more round of applause for Catherine Nagy and friends. Thank you everyone for joining us today.
Bye-bye. Thanks to all of you.